Hi guys, so today we're gonna be doing makeup for soft natural type women. If that all doesn't make sense to you, you probably didn't check my body type series. I'm gonna leave the link down below. Before I'm gonna show you all that makeup on myself, let's remember how soft natural women normally look. Okay, reading that right from the book. Soft natural is the overall combination of the very soft young with a yin undercurrent. Slightly soft and fleshy body type on an angular frame combined with an appealingly innocent essence. Height moderate to slightly small, bone structure slightly angular bones, slightly square or broad shoulders, moderate to slightly short limbs, slightly leggy look also possible, body type slightly soft tends to flashiness, slightly small waist that's in proportion to bust and hips, slightly curvy tends to an hourglass shape but not extremely so, slightly fleshy upper arms and thighs, facial features full and rounded, round eyes, full lips, soft cheeks, nose tends to be small and wide or slightly irregular blunt or wide, slightly blunt or small and irregular facial contours, nose, cheekbones and jawline. All right, now I'm gonna start my makeup. After I've applied my foundation, I'm gonna apply that new Laura Mercier powder. Actually, I got this Laura Mercier powder from one of my subscribers. She lives in London and her name is Maria. Because I said in one of my previous videos that I don't make any sponsorship videos for makeup brands and we don't have Laura Mercier here in Russia now. So she sent me that as a present. Maria, thank you so much. And I loved that powder very much. As for the contouring, soft naturals look amazing when they contour their cheeks, not with a very dark shade, not so severely not angular but in a rounded motion making very soft and rounded shadow under the cheekbone and if you like blush this shadow should be blended right into the blush as you know in this series i'm not only showing you how to contour my face but i'm also contouring it to look more like this body type that i'm making just so it would be more realistic to you in my case my face shape looks pretty close to soft natural except for my chin it is too sharp and pointed soft naturals normally have more blunt chin or rounded chin wider as for the nose my nose is just too long and sharp for soft natural so I'm just gonna make it slightly shorter but I'm gonna keep the wideness because many soft naturals have that soft and slightly wider nose and of course you don't have to do this and when you contour your nose you can make it slimmer if you want or you can just leave it like that because wide nose is very cute for my brows I'm picking very natural shade that is close to the roots of my hair I'm gonna make my brows thicker and just give them good and healthy shape not necessarily super wide but not thin for sure now instead of blush I'm gonna use this eyeshadow warm salmon color and I'm gonna mix it with a shimmery one now soft naturals look their best with slight shimmer not over the top again but not very matte very matte shades would look too severe on them and super shiny would look too glamorous for them super shiny would look better on more delicate bone structure more lightweight bones so I just give myself that healthy glow now I'm gonna apply mascara. They look amazing with slightly thicker lashes. So don't be scared to apply some extra mascara. And try to do this trick that I made in my huge eyes video, my most popular video now. So there I showed that trick when I kept the roots of my lashes empty. And I applied my mascara only on the tips of my lashes. And when they dried, I applied it again on the tips. So it will kind of build up a little bit. And make the tips of my lashes slightly thicker. Just try that trick. Now as far as I'm doing that nude makeup on myself, for the lips I chose just very neutral pink soft naturals normally have bigger lips than me so I slightly overdrew them just to give that appearance I'm gonna apply some salmon color eyeshadow on my crease and on my whole lid you can also try that and for many soft naturals that looks amazing but one important thing here if you do that and you feel that your face looks not fresh and not slightly tired or slightly sleepy or slightly puffy take some brown or gray eyeshadow and if you have dark skin you can take black but the key point here is it should be eyeshadow and apply it on the outer corner as if it's a flick but just blend it very well this way you will lift your eye up and make it not sleepy it will open your eye but still will look very minimalistic great for the daytime amazing for summer okay so my first makeup is done okay before i continue my makeup let's see some famous soft naturals and what kind of signature makeup they have First, let's look at that real old Hollywood example, Betty Grable. This is her version of that very gentle old Hollywood makeup. You can see lashes, lipstick and brows. She was that very typical woman of the 50s, a beautiful housewife or a pinup girl who was waiting for the soldier to come back from war, who was waiting for her men at home, and soldiers were hanging pictures with pinup girls, that girl next door that possibly is waiting for him. As far as in the 50s, there was some kind of a cliche also on the way women did their makeup. It was very feminine, very glamorous. However, Betty did something that made her makeup signature makeup, which actually I would recommend to 
to soft natural women. And this is slightly chunkier top lid. Not elongated necessarily. It was shortened. She definitely found her look a little bit later in her career. She stopped doing those very thin brows, like on these pictures. Huge and very lightweight lashes, like let's say romantics would wear. See, romantics are also rounded and feminine. But the difference here is that romantics have more delicate bone structure in their face as well. And soft naturals, they have slightly heavier bone structure in the face as well. So they do require something feminine, but slightly chunkier still. Not as lightweight, not as elongating and thin. So here's what she came to. Gorgeous. She didn't try to elongate her eyes. She made her brows thicker than before and she darkened her top lid or she was blending the black line there and you can see here how she didn't try to enlarge her eyes it makes her eyes pop and it just goes very much along with her bone structure Ashwarya Rai, also very feminine, very rounded, but with slightly heavier, chunkier, and more blunt bone structure than Romantics. Again, that eyeliner that is slightly blended looks amazing on them. Feminine lips, bushy eyelashes, not too much contouring, beautiful blush. Here on those two pictures, she has her eyeliner also slightly chunky, slightly thicker, and blended. Balances the bone structure so well. And of course, very tasty lips. Here we can see that red lip look, again gorgeous and very pin-up like. On these two pictures I just wanted you to see the difference. They don't look as good with very sharp flick. They look amazing when this flick is slightly blended. They don't look as good with too unnatural colors on them or too heavy and aggressive makeup. If it's a smoky eye it has to be done in the most sophisticated manner. Slightly chunky, yes, but still neat. Scarlett Johansson. So here we can see a nude makeup look. Amazing. Again, those colors look very fresh on her. It's great that she has darker roots here. It's great that she has thicker brows. That is already enough to balance that weightless makeup. So is on this picture. Very defined black lash line with those salmon colors and amazing hair for soft naturals. You can see the cut is very straight. She doesn't have those thinned layers, thinned ends, which is great because their bone structure, again, is slightly chunkier. So all those chunky touches here and there, along with some femininity and softness and roundness, that gives them that very healthy glow and very sexy beauty. Yeah, here we can see that soldier's dream, right? Something retro here going on. Look Looks beautiful on them. On these two pictures, great hair color, not too much makeup, pretty natural makeup, very feminine, some blending going on. Scarlett loves experimenting, so again, she's an artistic person, so... But as far as on my channel, we are more talking about our everyday situation. So every time soft naturals are experimenting a lot, that kind of makeup still doesn't give them that alien feeling, that alien look. Like, for example, for dramatics. If a dramatic woman would do such a makeup, we would make such a photo set for her. She would look like from a different planet. And these girls don't. They still look like they're from this planet, but they just made this makeup. Some blending, some pastel -y blending, unblended line, very sharp, super defined. Again, darkening too much around the eyes like a punk look or very bright colors, neon colors. They also look slightly separate on them, especially her coloration. It is slightly dull. I think she would look a bit better if that purple color would be more dull. Now, Chrissy Teigen, feminine, gentle look. However, a bit chunkier brows and hair. Also on the right picture, we can see slightly chunkier lashes, which also looks amazing on them. Here we can see that glamorous makeup. She made her eyes pop with dark accent. That's great. Slightly chunkier lashes. Still not too much elongating here. Very soft and slightly tousled hair. Really goes along with her bone structure. Here we can see that old Hollywood makeup. Bright lips, bright eyes. And still not very thin brows. Amazing. And here, I also wanted to show you, look at those lashes. That's false eyelashes, right? So her eyeliner here is slightly blended to a brown color, and she has that very gentle pink lip color. Some blush, some darker contouring for the evening, right? Gorgeous. Okay, let's go back to my makeup. We are now heading to old Hollywood makeup, and for that purpose, I'm gonna use black eyeshadow as usual and a thin brush, and I'm gonna do the flick. Now, as I mentioned before, we're gonna do the flick chunkier. We are not necessarily elongating our eyes too much, however you can do that, but I'm blending it up a little bit and make it chunkier, but gentle at the same time. And also red lips, of course. I'm gonna overdraw my lips again to give it more realistic look, and here's my pin-up kind of a look.
I'm gonna apply some shimmer on my cheekbones on my chin because we're gonna close it to the evening makeup. As far as my lids before were covered with salmon color eyeshadow, I'm clearing my lids now just to give it more old Hollywood look. You can skip this step, it doesn't have to be so. I'm gonna apply some dusty brown color on my crease and I'm gonna add some mascara and this time I'm gonna add it from the roots. Yeah, so the roots would not be empty because we already have that very dark eyeliner there. So the roots of your lashes can look slightly powdery and we don't want that. So that slightly chunky silhouette of your makeup really can go along with your bone structure and can give you just enough weight so it would all look uniform it would all look yours now let's go to smoky eye makeup i just recolored my lips to that nude color you can take any color that you want maybe gentle color would be better but because we're gonna make our eyes darker maybe pale lips would look a bit better so for the smoky eye i chose this matte gray color you can choose basically whatever you want i'm gonna apply it all over my top lid and slightly blend up now this time i decided to do it slightly like betty grable so i decided to make my top lid heavy with that color on my bottom lid now i have some lighter eyeshadow which basically can also look amazing on soft naturals it gives them that enough chunkiness but still very feminine look just check how that looks on you that heavy top lid is an amazing trick to make your glance pop it can be very sexy on you just try that you don't have to blend your eyeshadow to the sides too much to your temples don't elongate your eye because with this technique you will kind of ruin that structure that we just gave to our eyes because this gray color that we just blended it also communicates with the lashes so that all gives that very furry lashes effect and actually that's amazing for the daytime i just showed you one of the techniques of course you can add some more on the bottom just make sure you blend very neat and on the waterline just check you know probably it will depend on your coloration if you are very light maybe you can apply just some of it on your waterline but not super black and if your coloration is darker you can definitely do so i think but probably in this case you will have to add some more eyeshadow on the bottom and on top and just blend it so we would not have that effect of unblended eye all right so here's my end result I really hope that was helpful for you. If you are a soft natural, can you please share with us all your tips and tricks on your personal makeup? So maybe you can open to us some of your secrets. It's gonna be very interesting. If you still didn't find your body type, don't worry, I'm gonna talk about it more in my future videos. Subscribe to this channel, put thumbs up. It helps algorithms of YouTube recommend my videos more. If you love some retro music, some classic rock, you're welcome to subscribe on my music channel as well. You can also support me on Patreon. That would be a huge help for me. I upload some exclusive videos there sometimes and I answer your questions there so please welcome you can subscribe on my Instagram for just random stuff from my music and from my makeup life you can also subscribe on my Pinterest where I have 13 boards as an inspiration for each body type it might help you to get a better idea about the body types in general and so continuing this series I'm gonna see you in several days bye bye